Welcome to a Zero Harm tutorial. Today we'll show you how to register an account and how to induct into the site of your choosing. Begin by visiting zeroharm.app and once this page is loaded, click Create Account. Register by selecting the email of your choice. Fill in all the usual details. Um, here we need to make sure that the phone number is in an international format. So uh, 646144, depending on your location. Uh, when you're happy, click All Done. Um, simple as that. So we've just created an account and um, we can select um, if we want to sign into a workplace or create our own workplace. Um, now, if we are signing in or making induction onto a, onto a property or site, um, we need to select working somewhere. Here we'll be presented with a list of published sites. Um, these are all the sites which are in public state which you will be allowed to um, induct into. Um, please bearing in mind that if the site here isn't listed that you're trying to induct, it might be because the site is in a private state and therefore we'll have to contact the site owners or managers to, to proceed forward. Um, just so we can search by the site manager, region or site name to find it. Um, for example, if we took Riverton as an example here, we can see all the sites located within that region. I'll just go ahead and um, click on Cleveland's Farm because this is the site we're looking for. Here we're now viewing the site profile. Um, to uh, make an induction, it's really straightforward. All we need to do is just click on Induct. Um, inductions are a one-time event which will involve understanding the site's hazards and rules. We advise all contractors to understand each step before proceeding, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just skip through these stages. Uh, bearing in mind, this can be done on a mobile, um, a tablet, or a desktop computer. Once you've read through the hazards, you'll be prompted to induct. Um, simply click Complete Induction. Bearing in mind, this is like a virtual signature and um, explains that you have understood and the, the hazards involved on that site. Um, once we've completed the one-time induction, uh, we can now proceed into signing onto the site. To sign in, simply click, in, click sign in. Um, here we'll be presented with any temporary hazards which the site um, managers have set. Um, these could range from tree felling to uh, bad weather conditions. Um, so please take note of any temporary hazards which might be listed here. Um, the system also allows us to sign in now, or maybe if we're signing in uh, later on that day or that week, we can uh, schedule that in as well. Uh, sometimes it can be nice just to leave a message for the manager as well, explain to them um, who you are, maybe if you're with other people as well. Um, um, click sign in. And simple. Um, we've now signed into the site. Um, um, as you can see, the button has now changed from sign in to sign out. Um, what we will have to do is when we're leaving the site, we will have to remember to sign back out. Um, this really helps the site managers, so please remember to try and do this. Um, it is, of course, the contractor's or visitor's responsibility to conform to all of the site rules. And, and again, remember to try and sign out at the end of the session. Um, this can just be done anytime by logging back into the application and clicking sign out. 
Um, the site manager will be notified of each of the inductions, sign in and sign out phases. So they'll know exactly when you're arriving and, um, and who you are. Um, just to finalize, we will sign out and it's just as straightforward as clicking sign me out. Excellent. As always, if you have any questions, please contact support at zeroharmfarm.com and we'll be able to guide you or inform you of any issues that you might be having. Um, otherwise, we look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thanks.